Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to. I don't even need to say it at this point. I don't even need to say what the game is. A lot of you guys are only here for Slay the Spire, but if you don't know what this game is, welcome back to Slay the Spire. I'm hyped because, as I promised in the last video, I made my way back to the third boss or Act Three's boss. I'm hoping. That what I have here, all of my relics, all of my, I guess, one of my potions, and the cards that I have from the run that I did making my way back up here are enough for me to defeat the boss. Because I want to see what Act 4 is. I want to beat this game playing as the defect so that we can play other characters. So without further ado, I, let's just see what we can do. <laughs> This is definitely a different boss than the last time. What the fuck do you mean, Time Eater? Whenever you play 12 cards, ends your turn and gains two strength. Okay. All right, okay. So I have a bunch of zero cards because they're just OP. Obviously, you're gonna want a lot of zero cards because they don't take up any energy. I didn't go over any of the relics that I have, but it's fine. <laughs> a lot of you know what they do anyways because you guys were feeding me with advice whenever you play a power card draw one card i'm gonna want to play that first in some blocks And then I'm gonna need that. No, not yet, not yet. We're not gonna use that just yet. We've already done some significant damage to him and we just started. This is not bad. And then what does this do? This turns your next card, this turn your next card is played twice. I'm gonna save that or at least I'm gonna try to. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Channel one lightning. That's a good one. Uh, lose two focus gain. I probably should have used that one first then. Oh, he's going to hit for a lot. Oh, he's gonna hit for a lot. Ooh. Ooh, hell yeah. That's not really gonna do much because I'm still gonna take a lot of damage, but it's some kind of block. It's not gonna kill, but I need the damage. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Am I fucked? Am I cooked? Gain 36 block? Oh, I forgot I had that card! Oh, I should have used the reprogram. Shit. It's okay. It's fine. Yes. He's not gonna be attacking me, so there's no reason for me to use any of my blocks. Okay, well, that was kind of stupid. Surprise, motherfucker.
That's okay. I have a bunch of heavy hitter cards now. Damn it! Ow! Oh! Okay. This is fine. I'm stupid! So, what I should have done was I should have drank the duplication potion and then used that, that 30 damage card because it would have done the 10, knocking off the 20 shield, and then done an additional 30. I'm trying to save it for when his health is like low, low, but that may not be the smartest choice. You have got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I literally just started the video. I literally just start. Fuck me in every one of my holes. I don't think you would believe me if I told you how many tries it took me to get back to Act 3, the boss of Act 3. You see that timer up there? That's an hour and six minutes. And that's just for this run. That's not how many tries it took me. Because I kept getting to Act 2 and I kept dying on the boss of that one. I kept getting to Act, you know, 3, but I would only make it so far up the spire. I have so many block cards. You would think that I'm a, I'm a brick wall, basically. So with all these block cards, there's no reason why I should not beat this boss in anything else that challenges me from this point on. I'm hoping that we can get this video done, that, that we can get this run done, and that we can move on to a different character. Because <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck 100 with you. If I have to start from act one again, we probably won't be finishing this game. What? Okay, so. The Time Eater has Time Warp, and so it says whenever you play 12 cards, it ends your turn and gains 2 strength. This works out a little bit in my favor because one of my relics uh, prevents me from using 7 or 6 cards. Yeah, I can't play more than 6 cards in a turn because of the Velvet Choker. So I do not have to worry about the Time Warp. The only thing I need to worry about is blocking its attacks. I do have a uh, Apoth... Apothesis, which upgrades all of my cards for the rest of the combat, which is really helpful, let me tell you. Uh, but none of these cards really give me any block. So I'm gonna have to pop a dexterity. Not that that really matters, but you know. Do some damage. Do some more damage, and then Apothesis. I'm not too stressed. I, uh, I'm stressed, but I'm not too stressed. The bomb, the bomb. Oh, that was a good one. That was a lucky pull. Now, the reinforced body has been my best friend throughout this block run. Because I found out that with the defect, I don't know if it's like this for the other characters, but the defect needs block. Block is so essential to the defect's uh, like character. Look at that. 56 block off of one card. He's not touching me at all. My heart is actually pounding right now because <laughs> I've made it so far and I don't want to lose again. Oh, is this 12 total cards? Oh, fuck off. Okay. That's 12 total cards. God damn it. All right, whatever. I'm not stressed. I'm not stressed at all. Fuck, I'm stressed. Shit! Because I I didn't realize that I had played twelve. Oh my god! Oh, oh! I'm not stressed. Oh, the bomb! That was the bomb. It didn't. 
it doesn't do as much when the health is this high. Also, also, some of you in the comments who kept talking about how me avoiding enemy attacks or me avoiding enemies while climbing up the spire is a bad idea, but some of the enemies in Act 3 have just as much health as an elite enemy. That shit's scary. I took so much damage getting up here, which is why I only had 66 health when we started this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that, because that stays. That stays in play. Just so I can get the energy next turn. Okay. He plans to block. So if I have my Melter... Melter? 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 No Melter! Fuck! Ugh. Okay, watch those cards. Watch those cards. That's 11. Mmm, I kind of fucked up. I want my Melter. I want to be able to use the Melter. But I need to block. 13, three times. I'm not very good at math. Hold on, let me, let me do some math. Hold on. That's fine. Wait, no, no! Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed. I didn't realize, okay. Um, I don't have any cards that can block any of his damage! That's fucked. Give me a block card. Give me a zero card. Oh, I can only play- ah! Stupid relics! That's okay. We almost have his health halfway down. But every time this has happened before, things haven't necessarily turned out so well. I'm keeping my guard up pretty high. Melter? Why is it that whenever I ask for the Melter, you don't want to give it to me? Neither of those are what I need! chill <laughs> no oh, of course now that he's not blocking I have the melter of course now that he's not blocking I have the melter bad yep 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 I need to get rid of him now like this has to be it I gotta I need a zero cost card. I need a zero cost card that's gonna do some dabblage. I wouldn't say that this is really gonna help, but it'll do some. Oh, I need my melter! I need my melter! I need hella block is what I need. Shit. Okay, this next card I play is going to end my turn. So I really gotta be careful about this one. And I, I think that this is the best move to make. 
Because even though I'm still going to take damage, I'm only going to take three hits. Wait, 54? Oh, fuck you! This is it. We did it. I can't celebrate yet. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, a source of this evil? You charge your core to its maximum. You deal 624. No, no. Am I supposed to fight this? You ask yourself, have I been here before? You feel that you have dealt a total of 624 damage to the heart. A total of 14 million something something damage has been dealt by all who have challenged it. The heart pulses louder. Is this like actual... Is this actual stats from players who have played this game and got this far? And louder your consciousness fades. Wait, what? Beat the game with the defect. Wait, what? Ascension mode. And then who's. I thought there were four acts. I thought there were four acts of Slay the Spire. Hold on! Did Google lie to me? The game is divided up into three acts. Okay. So, for some reason, Google does like this AI overview where I think it'll give me like an AI generated answer to my question and on here it says players can unlock a fourth and final act by defeating the final boss in act three with all four ca oh oh okay so i guess all right so there's only three acts but then there's a fourth act once you unlock or once you've beaten the game with all four characters got it oh that explains why act three was so fucking difficult because I don't want this video to be super short, I know this video is going to be hella short if I just leave it where it is. I'm going to go ahead and try as... I'll see what the new character that we unlocked is talking about. And then after we play as that character, we're going to go back to the Ironclad and start the Ironclad run. So that I can give you guys some more Slay the Spire. Because I don't know about you, but I, I feel like after playing as the Defect, I've learned so much about utilizing my cards properly because i know that each character is going to have a different set of cards um and different abilities but playing as one specific character you learn their cards and their abilities but you also learn the fundamentals of the game you learn the different routes that you can take and what's potentially better for you in one run than it would be in another run like i said block was really essential for the defect Excuse me, but maybe, maybe like the Ironclad has more stronger attack cards than the Defect did. And so attack is going to be more essential for the Ironclad rather than defense. But you're still going to want to have to find that good balance of both. I don't know. Oh, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a, it's a fun little test my skills, test my brain processing. My heart is still on a thousand. But you guys all saw me through it. You all, you you were here right by my side through the very end of the defect run. And I know, I saw the comments. You guys were tripping. Everybody was tripping at how, how poorly I was playing at times. And yeah, I made some mistakes, but as a community, <laughs> I'm a stop playing. Ah, I see see so now i definitely do have to play with the other two characters the watcher <laughs> pure water at the start of each combat add a miracle into your hand okay a blind ascetic who has come to evaluate the spire master of the divine stances okay let's give it a try uh, let's see what they're talking about Another try? What are you talking about? This is my first time being here. <laughs> a 
Enemies in your next turn the max HP. I like the max HP. All right. So what I've been doing is I've been looking at the spire and usually I'll do two enemies. And then if it gives me the option, I'll do like the merchant, two enemies, rest, two enemies, you know, item, whatever. So that's kind of how I've been keeping the cards. And that's kind of just so that I'm avoiding like unnecessary the elites. I there's something about the elites that just scare me a little too much. I don't. But we're going to start down here. Retain energies used. OK, why wouldn't I want to use this? Oh, it exhausts. That's why. I'd probably want to save that. I, I'm so not used to playing the defect because I was very much expecting like the little lightning to come striking. Oh, I missed the defect already. Upon exiting the stance, gain energy. I definitely didn't need to use that, but there we go. I'm not going to use uh, Eruption just yet because the Defect also has an Erup er, a Wrath card. It's a hit or miss. If you're not prepared to take attacks, to take double damage, it's not a very good card. Damn it, I keep expecting the Lightning. That's so sad. <laughs> Battles are just going to take a little longer for me to get through now because I don't have that extra attack going at What the? Why do you keep attacking for so much? I got to deal some damage. I can't. I got to I got to eat those. Because he keeps increasing his fucking attack. I think we're off to a bad start. We're off to a, a fantastic start. Jesus! We're only on the first battle of the first act. Retain, intercom, exhaust. Okay, that's the card that I have in my hand, except it's a zero cost. Deal seven damage, scry, draw one card. Deal four damage, whenever you scry, return this from your pile, or from the discard. Oh, so these cards kind of go hand in hand with each other. I don't have any X cards right now, so I'm gonna... Yell at me about it in the comments later. <laughs> Merchant man! What do you got for me? Let's see. Deal three damage three times. Into Wrath, shuffle the cards into your draw pile. Retain, gain 12 block. The, the Watcher has a lot of retain cards. This deep breath card came in handy. And it's a zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm realizing my mistake. So I thought that retain meant that I retain all of my cards, but it's just the one. If I don't use it, it remains retained within my hand. Yeah. I'm smart. I play video games. And you are out of here. Okay, gain seven block. Exit your stance. I'll take that one. A new card it's fresh a large slime doing 16 damage <laughs> I miss my orbs I miss my orbs I miss them's orbs Yeah, it's taking a little longer for me to get through some of these uh, some of these enemies. It's probably because I just I genuinely don't know the character all that well right now, but
Uh, let's see. Scry one, gain two block, deal three damage. That's pretty good. Your next attack deals five additional damage. That's also pretty good. This is a zero. But that's a one. And then if I do, like, heavy damage. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna need my block. I just, I have a feeling that block is not just essential for the defect, but every character. <laughs> okay. That didn't give me a whole lot of more slimes! Oh, that's what it meant. Okay. I, I think... I think I understood the assignment. Boink. There you go licking me again. Boink. Boink. I get it. Look at the top X cards. Not like X cards. Like cards that do X amount of energy. But like, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Did I choose this card last time? No, I think I picked the 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 scry. Nirvana, whenever you scry, gain three block. If you are in wrath, apply three vulnerable to all enemies, otherwise enter wrath. Now I'm gonna go with this one. I'm not ready to take on an elite. I, I don't know the cards well enough, so yell at me about it in the comments later. But I'm not <laughs> I'm not ready. These things you really have to take out fast. These enemies are the worst so far. See, look at that, 21 damage for what? <laughs> 21 damage for no reason. Yeah, do you feel better? Is that nice? Did you enjoy that? Bitch! Deal 8 damage to the last card you played to come. It was a skill. Apply 1 vulnerable. Okay. I'll take that one. Vulnerable is pretty useful. Whenever you play 10 cards, draw 1 card. Nice. In 1 artifact. Rest. Rest. I need the rest. At the start of each turn, add a smite into your hand. I should have looked at the other cards, but that one, that, that was an impulsive purchase. Do you accept refunds? Do you, do you do refunds? So it would be best to save this card and not use it right away because it feels like it would defeat the purpose of kind of just having it. So wait, does it, does it stay applied or, I don't know, it doesn't really matter because I did it. Okay, so that stays applied through the whole combat. Apply eight mark. What the hell is a mark? All enemies lose HP equal to their mark. So that's a random. Apply eight mark at random, shuffle, an expunger. Hold on! These are both really good cards. I may be making the biggest mistake of my life here. But I'm going to go with the pressure points just because I'm interested to see how much damage the, the mark will apply. Because if it's something small like three... I don't know. I, I just want to see what this one really does. We'll go to our first question mark. You enter a corridor full of hypnotizing colored mushrooms. Due to your lack of speci specialization in mix mycology, you are unable to identify the specimens. You want to escape, but feel oddly compelled to eat the mushroom. Okay, all right, so the parasite's not that bad of a card. It's if you transform it or remove it from your deck, you lose three max HP, which wouldn't really be all that bad. And I get 
health back. So why not? Uh, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna go left. I feel like I should be regret regretting my decision. Damn, I can't talk. That's seven block. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. I'm actually, I, I didn't expect myself to make it this far, if I'm being honest. Retain, gain 12 block. Five mantra. When you obtain 10 mantra, enter div divinity. Upon entering the stance, gain three energy. Attack, deal triple damage. Exit the stance at the start of your next turn. Wow. The block is pretty damn good, though. I'm sure I'll come across the, the worship card at some point later. Okay, I'm just missing eight damage. Let's see if we can beat the boss in act one. Also, I have no idea why my game stutters like this. I, I'm just, I'm looking at my OBS right now and the game is stuttering like crazy. I don't know why it does that. There may be some settings that I need to change, but if that ever bothers you, I apologize. This might be a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. How much damage do you need to take after receiving nine damage you enter defensive mode? Okay. Let's see what the mark does. Whenever you play pressure points, lose eight HP. Got it. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay. Shit, I don't have any more attack cards though. Uh oh! Uh oh! Hey, well, that would have been super helpful if I were playing as the defect. Because then I could use the fucking. Ugh! Does he have sharp hide still? I don't think so. Now he has sharp hide. So I don't want to attack. Yes. That hide or the hide. Um what is it called? The the mark. That card is pretty damn good. We got this in the bag as long as I don't get hit anymore. That mark card! It's that mark card! Cause I had like 32 on him before I hit him with that last one. Oh, that felt good. Deal 12 damage, deals additional damage equal to mantra. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. Draw cards until your hand is full. Yes. Gain energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer see enemy intentions. Gain energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer obtain potions. Fuck all of these! I like to see what the enemy is gonna do, that way I can prepare. That's forever gonna be a no-go unless I wanna like, hardcore mode this. It's not like I really use potions anyways, but I've been trying to use more potions, so I'm gonna go with the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, we made it to act two. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through the whole act as the, uh, as the watcher in this video because this was the defect run, but we started as the watcher. So now we're going to try and finish the game as the watcher and then play as the other characters. I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this. We did it. We beat the game as the defect. Again, genuinely wasn't expecting to finish the game because I thought that there were four acts, but here we are so if you guys want to see more of this you already know what you got to do drop a like uh, let me know in the comments let me know how i did i know some of you are still going to be mad at some of my choices 
but the watcher is actually pretty fire the defect is still my favorite but the watcher is pretty cool too if you want to see my last video which was the most intense episode of ravenous devils i have ever played i'll have that link somewhere around here and if you want to see the last video of slay the spire i'll also have that link somewhere around here as a matter of fact i might even just have like the full playlist since this is technically the end the beginning the end of the beginning the beginning of the end i don't i don't know how that phrase goes i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys stay safe out there take it easy and big buddy out you are enough